to the Leadership Intelligence Podcast. My name is Charles Rogel, and I'm the Vice President of Products and Marketing for DecisionWise. Today, I'm talking with Matt Ride. Hey, how are you doing? Good, Matt. Matt is one of the co-authors of the book, The Employee Experience, How to Attract Talent, Retain Top Performers, and Drive Results. Today, we're going to be talking about Chapter 9 of the book, which is titled Engagement Magic. Uh, so to introduce this chapter, you talk about this relationship or uh, the difference between employee engagement and the employee experience. Because there's been a lot of, I think people are either putting them together or maybe ranking one above the other in terms of what they mean. How do you explain the relationship between the two? So the empl- employee experience is the totality of an employee's interactions and, and their perceptions about the organization mm-hmm. okay the engagement is really a state or or kind of a um, when someone's operating at a, at a heightened level or at a, a level that produces optimal results mm-hmm. so the employee, employee experience is an intentional operating framework that you build you work on it you monitor the health of it engagement is an outcome of doing things the right way so it, it essentially is an outcome of the employee experience right. framework you create. We use the metaphor of gardening. You you don't when you set out to garden, you don't have total control over the outcome. Yeah. But you can do a lot. You can uh, uh, put soil amendments in. You can till. You can do the things that it, that makes sense. And if you do that, building the right EX, there's a really good chance that you're going to get growth. You're yeah. going to get. The type of garden that you want, you're going to get these the uh, engagement magic that you're looking for. So, so the term magic, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, is is taken from our previous book, Magic: The Five Keys to Unlock the Power of Employee Engagement. And this book, kind of being a, a complement to that book, builds upon some of the concepts uh, from that. So this chapter kind of ties the two together. Magic being an acronym for the key elements that boost engagement, which is meaning, autonomy growth, impact, and connection. So Matt, can you talk about those keys and, and, and the connection there, I guess, between mm-hmm. what you talked about in the employee experience book? Right, so Magic was the first book and it was DecisionWise first research effort. And out of that, we realized that these elements exist in highly engaged workforces. So mm-hmm. it was an observation. We see meaning, autonomy, growth, impact, and connection in organizations that are yielding the type of survey responses and the type of feedback that tells us they're highly engaged. Yeah. Okay. And so from there, we learned those are drivers of engagement, meaning that um, we, we were able to find a correlation between overall engagement and those factors. Sure. The challenge is, is it doesn't necessarily tell you how to build meaning, autonomy, growth, impact, and connection. And that was the purpose of the employee experience is that by building the right employee experience and by taking the time to align your contracts and to build them and all those things, you will create an environment in which magic can thrive and grow. And so it's an outcome of of taking the time to address the structural structural elements that you find in the EX framework. So can you talk about a couple of the magic keys and how they correlate maybe with uh, some of the concepts of the contracts that we talked about before and some of those other elements. Well, think about the one meaning. Mm -hmm. Uh, Meaning is finding purpose in the work beyond kind of just the day-to-day part of it. Sure. And and you can find meaning in in work even if it's uh, mundane because if you're if you're if you believe your work to be an important element of the overall mission of your organization then you can be a part of the overall mission overall meaning that that organization has. Sure. So even though you might um, be a hospital janitor, if you do your job effectively, you're controlling infectious disease, Mm -hmm. you're making the place a a more comfortable environment, that contributes to the higher meaning of 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 providing the best health care possible. Right, so me, so very much meaning is a psycho part of the psychological contract. If your psychological contract is done well, and you're you're letting people understand and, and showing them, even taking the time to connect the dots and show them why it, and thanking them and being sincere with them. Hey, janitor, you're doing a great job, and it's important. And I don't want to ever undervalue what you do for us. And and, and letting them see the value in it, and you're working that psychological contract, you're establishing the, the fruits, the roots, I should say, of meaning. 
So um, to to provide an example, you use a case study for a company we worked with for a number of years, CHG Healthcare Services, mm -hmm. and how they've kind of created this environment, planted that that garden, so to speak, that that uh, grows magic. They did a complete overhaul, as you will see in the book. They're they're kind of our prime case study that is weaved throughout many chapters in the mm -hmm. book, and CHG set about to completely transform who they were as a company. But they didn't transform operations, they didn't transform technology, they transformed their people. Even to the point where they said, look, if you're not on board with who we are psychologically, you need to find a new place. We mm -hmm. love you, we'll support you, but we need people who believe in our mission and who we are. And so they made it very clear that this is where we're going, that this is the type of people we strive to be. If you want to be on our team, come be on our team. But if you're not, it's not a good fit. Well, it was interesting because their 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 mantra is basically, we're all about our people. Our people is what makes our organization work. Mm -hmm. Well, Matt, I want to thank you for a brief overview of Chapter 9, Engagement Magic, um, taken from the book, The Employee Experience. You can get a copy of the book on Amazon or any other uh, bookseller. The Employee Experience, How to Attract Talent, Retain Top Performers, and Drive Results is published by Wiley. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.